battery will sometimes affect you to uh, disable and yeah also okay for the setup okay since we already mounted and connecting connected the hdd inside this hardware so it's time to power up this one already power up okay you see the screen that's the setup provisioning uh, step one okay so here in this connections we need to put the usb going to mouse uh, mouse via usb cable usb cable the bga connection display going to that monitor and this one cable two cables lan cable going to one and uh, one and two camera okay one second camera okay and the other cable is the power dc power and the mental power up all this device okay clear it okay by the way on the dawa camera cctv camera we can only use this this port this one not in use anymore okay because this one is a poe switch power over ethernet switch which means lan cable carries data and at the same time power so no need to plug in power here this one should be the power also but now since this one is working as a data and power then should be okay one cable only going to each camera okay okay we'll start for the setup region um just use singapore scroll down Singapore time zone Kuala Lumpur Singapore and um, time is correct start time end time yeah online and then just click next and then read all these terms and scroll down and then after you read all these agreements terms yeah, just check I have read all the terms and then click yes. And then here in the password, you just uh, put whatever password you want. For now, I will be using the default one, which is QRT. 1234, it's normal default one. I will change the password later. Okay, here also confirm QRT, which is because I'm not using any keyboard here so mouse that's why i use security just to be uh, just to make it easy i just uncheck the pattern security but it's up to you if you want to enable the pattern just the same as the phone next and then this one password is email okay you can write down any email here okay uh, i will just hide my side uh. So I hide uh, the email address that I put, but if you want, put your IP uh, email address here. So this is, this this section will be the recovery mode. As for example, you forgot the password, then it will send a recovery link to your email address, which is this one. And then it will ask you what is your favorite children book, something like that. So I'll just write, hi, hi. <laughs> okay. And then just go next. Okay, so I oh, I think I forgot. Okay, I forgot to record. Okay, in this section we will be assigning the IP address of the NIC card, NIC card, or this port, this management port of the NBR, this block one, because this one is a switch port, which means this one is going to be connected to the camera. This will be helpful for the camera to be plug and play. Just plug the camera, and then it it will automatically. Anal, uh, initialized okay so this section will be used for this one we'll assign ip address for this one okay moving forward you can go to the nic one modify and then modify the ip address okay okay and then click next click next so next is uh, P2P, something like this, but uh, just click next, no need, this one is no need. Okay, so right now, 
let me check okay so as you can see i already connected two two cameras these two cameras but i can only see the second or number two camera which is this port number two port number two with the black one okay okay so let's just search this one will be plug and play enable the plug and play and then search device if still we cannot see the other camera here then there's a problem with the plugs we need to tighten the camera okay okay so you can see the two cameras already uh analyzed uh, initialized by the nvr okay two camera one and two okay so they already generated ip address because this nvr will give them ip address uh, yeah dynamically okay so i just enable the plug and play which means it will automatically reinitialize all the camera that is plugged at the back here at the back okay then go next check the deal. how much is the space yeah 7 terabyte then click ok thank you for purchasing our product ok so you can see the two cameras are working mm. and good thing to know also you can right click go to the main menu and then there is feature called motion detection you can go to alarm video detection and then enable the mode motion detection just to avoid getting record i mean to uh, just to minimize the whole recording uh, there is no peer person or no movements on the uh, on the vision of the camera so no 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 point on recording on that one so just if there is a move, movement or any motions yeah it will i mean the camera will record if there's a motions or detect uh, motions or movements so here enable the motion detection for this d1 and go to settings and adjust the sensitivity also okay so it means um it depends on the movement if the movement is not really uh I mean really if I move my eyes yeah, yeah. I move my eyes yeah right so my camera will not uh, observe with that one so if you really want this even the small movement will be recorded then just do this sensitivity level so just go for it. higher higher okay even a little movement will be recorded okay by default I will just put it to 80 81 and then that's it so this red color is by means the the coverage of the motion detections so any of these movements in the frame will be recorded okay if i will remove the red the the coverage yeah you can see the cameras yeah okay so okay i will be recovering all the coverage and then right click go back check 85 settings go back and check 85 settings and then right click and then go to the log okay so last thing just check the lug box just to enable all the uh, modifications inside for this camera will be recorded and sent to NVR so that if we will investigate for some issues then we can read the lugs for each camera okay so by saving these settings if you want to apply all these settings to the other camera you'll just go to the copy button and then click all so currently we don't we only we only have two cameras just okay click okay and then apply 
Okay, it will apply already. And then right click and any surface here. Let's go back and then go to the cameras. Your camera is here. You want to set the names, the Okay, any settings here? Nothing but important. I think we're done. We're done here. So, storage. Um, record. That's the resolution of the camera 1920 by 80, uh, 1080. Record mode. And then the space. Okay, space, free space. All this. Oh, this one also the recording. So, uh, aside from the motion detections, we already uh, uh, we also need to configure here. Okay, so we need to go to the this uh, storage. Okay, let's go back. Go back to storage. Go to schedule, schedule, and then you see this one, right? Go to the settings, and then uncheck the general, check motions, and motions okay let's check motions and then click all from monday to sunday okay apply this one okay and then copy all still all and then check the motions also and then apply so we will not be using the general mode it means continuous mode so everything from the start the power up of the camera it will recall all time by time so it will maximize your storage it's better to use the motion detections as long as there is motions or movement it will record but if no then it will not record okay that's it and then right click to exit and then uh, uh, this one to change password in passwords Credentials if you want our users to add other users, you can do it. Okay. Okay, that's it. I guess that's all and thanks.